Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne and this is uh, Get Ready With Me today. Um, okay, I'm gonna use most of the stuff that I got from BoxyCharm if I sound a little, um, not as loud, my son is here and I don't wanna, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so. Let's get started. So I'm going to use most of the stuff, if not all of the stuff that I got yesterday in my BoxyCharm. Although when I say yesterday, you are not going to see this probably until a couple days after. So I apologize. I didn't get this yesterday in this video. I got it a few days ago. But anyway, let's start. Okay, so I am going to use primer on my skin. And I did not get a primer yesterday, so that's my inch. So I'm going to use, actually, I think I'm going to use my Yenza, and then I'm going to use my Pure Less in my color, um, my dog is right there and she thought she saw something, so I thought I'd help her check it out, I guess. Oh. So, okay. It's been a long day today. I got up probably with my little one and I had to drive all the way to Wyerton and back. And if you don't know, Wyerton is about an hour and a half away from me. And then I had to drive back. And right now I'm having some sort of bladder issue. I don't know what is going on, but it is freaking annoying. Annoying. So I am going to use this Born This Way in shortbread for the concealer. So, put some there. I also used the Becca Under Eye. I am going to use the Pure Lesson Light. See if this matches me a little bit better. Okay, so there it is. Uh, let's go. The beauty blender, although it's not one, it's I think it's a the Morphe one. So today, um, oh, by the time you guys see this, you won't. Uh, if you are a part of Causebox, they um, the market is open. Uh, FabFit Funds uh, bonus sale is on. Um, I have no idea. What as I am trying to cut down on things, I don't, I haven't even locked, I've been so busy, um, it's Friday and you I don't even know why I'm saying that because you're not going to see this video right away, but yeah, Jeffree Star's orgy came out and apparently Pat McGrath came up with one too, so, anyway. I actually kind of like that. I am going to use Pretty Vulgar. Let's see if... I think I might have put it in my... Yeah, I did. I'm just going to use a regular brush. So, just priming my eye here. Okay, so I am going to use the editor's palette from um, Ciate London. I got it in my premium yesterday, so let's see here. I think I'm going to go in with this. There's not too many mattes, but they're more they're shiny. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this top color here. Sometimes they're not named, and I think I like that better because then I don't have to remember the name. So this is just all over the eye here. Kind of gives it a nice background, you know. Very chalky. Okay, so I am going to go in with... Okay. 
this pink right here. I think the pink is a really good color in the back. Like, I'm, I'm going to leave that like that, and I am going to go in with my blue lavish brush I just used. I guess these, this blue it looks like a little bit of a not so much glittery, but I think I'm going to go in with. red This is a really pretty color. Oof. Okay, so I'm going to go in with another brush here, and I think I'm going to choose this beautiful purple right here. Um, normally when I'm trying some of these more outrageous colors, uh, not today, I'm going to save this for another day. If I get back to this palette, let's... Is. like it's an early drinking day because I'm going to be in bed early tonight. It's Friday. I do have to work tomorrow. So. Okay, so there is the look so far. I am going to take one of my handy dandy brushes. This one is from Murphy and I am going to go in actually with this brown under here. So brown right here. So this is a nice look that I could actually even wear to work. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I am going to take this beautiful pink here. And throw it underneath. <laughs> I'm going to take this kind of brown right here, just ever so lightly. Okay, so there's that. So I got in my Laura Geller. So I am going to give my. I do two things at once. Let's see. <clears throat> I 
So yes, I drove all the way up to Wyrton. And if you've never been to Wyrton, it is really a beautiful little town. Um, right now they've got like the main street uh, in front of the uh, bar, the lights there in front of Mr. Beer. They have it all torn up and it's like so crazy. Like, I mean, it's more torn up than I've generally noticed. Um, so that little bar that's there in Wyrton, the Pacific, we uh, used to run it. My mom did, I should say. I used to work there a long time ago and I was uh, at work the other day and a rep came in and he's like, where do I know you from? I'm like, I worked at TG, I mean, for eight years. And he's like, no. I'm like, have you ever been up to the Pacific in Wyrton? He's like, that's it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It was 12 years ago, buddy. There's a story for the day. So getting lots of comments on one of the videos I did, I think yesterday, um, asking what palette I'm wearing. I'm going to mention it in the video I'm going to release today. And this video, just in case, and it is actually Suvia's rose palette, rose period. I am going to put it in the video for that as well. Oh, come on. This as a primer, holy, I think this is going to be like, I mean, I'm really happy with it just as a mascara, but I'll let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to use You guys know what I'm saying, right? Okay. You know what I did? When I, I love this. For a palette. Alright, um, before I forget, I am also going to do the Too Faced Born This Way. Every time I think of this, I think of... Uh, Lady Gaga, her um, album, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I have really nice brushes right here. That's not it. That one is nice. It's just not the one I want. Okay, that's a highlighter. Maybe I'll put it on tonight. Ooh, okay. So I obviously need to do some brush washing. We'll use this one anyway. Okay. So. So, let's see here. Would you guys be interested in me getting the new Jeffree Star or the new Pat McGrath um, palette or any new palette? Leave leave a link or leave a comment below on which palette you'd like me to try. so hard sassy my sassy fans okay, so do that again so I want to put on let's go with this is Too Faced yeah Too Faced we'll just go with Too Faced most of today
So I am going to use the NARS lipstick and I am going to color, do my ColourPop. I need to sharpen it. Actually, I'm going to leave that one there for a second. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star. I'm nude because it is a really nice pencil too. Okay. So, I am going to use the NARS beautiful pink. I think this is called Orgasm. That is beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I am going to use, I'm like, can't find any new highlighters. Oh, and that one's broken, of course. Okay, so I am going to use, I can go back in there. And what I usually do is I kind of get a little bit of it all in here. And actually, I am panning this. Look at that. Okay, so you don't need a whole lot of this one. That is crazy. Okay, so that is done. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to use this. Um, this I actually don't mind. Um, I might actually keep it. I'm not 100% sure, as I do have a few other. Um, setting powders that I would like to get through, including a Jeffree Star and uh, It Cosmetics, which I did purchase myself, um, full price. Um, okay. Let's, I just wanna put away some of this stuff first. Um, okay, so brushes are going to be washed tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so the ColourPop is already mine. I absolutely love it. So the Sauté London, um, now I do like, the eyeshadow it is staying in place so I will let you guys know in the next few weeks whether I really like it or not. I highly doubt I'm keeping it. It has some beautiful colors. There's just too many blues, too many greens that just aren't my colors but um, it is a beautiful palette. Would I have bought this for myself? Absolutely not. Am I happy to try? Yes I am. Um, I do like it. It was uh, the colors are beautiful. They're well pigmented. It didn't it chalked on here but it didn't chalk on my face. I don't have any like under here so that's great. Um, this has got to be the best thing in the box, uh, besides the Sunday Riley, um, I really, really like this. Uh, it didn't clump, it didn't, like, my lashes look good. I don't often say that I always find that they're clumpy or that they're, there's chunks, I don't know, I, like, I don't mention it to you guys because I'm, like, so embarrassed, right? But this, I've got to admit, this is a really nice find. Now I bought this at the sale only because I was afraid that um, the choice that I had made for the base box was going to be wrong and I have to admit this does a really good job and it's I thought it'd be too yellow but it's actually not. Um, this is made in Italy too so I actually really enjoy using this. I do like the fact that I can use it as a foundation apparently if I need to. Um, 
So getting these two products from the same line is kind of nice. They do have their eyeshadows, and I'm not a big fan of the eyeshadows. Um, and as for the uh, Give Me a S'more Lip, I think this is going to be my favorite product so far. I do have to try some of the other products, including like the Limp Plumper. plumper. But I'm really happy because this is full size, I believe, and this is probably worth twice as much as the whole box uh, that I got. Um, but yes, and um, the BB cream, I already knew I was going to like this, but I do like the shade a lot better. I find that I'm not getting I like the orange tint. The medium is just a tad too dark, even though I am tanned right now. Um, I find this one, it feels more like it's perfect. Now, I will say that I wore this one for my last video for um, the opening of... Uh, the boxy charm and all my boxes that uh, you guys have just seen and this stuff it has got to be some of the best stuff um i did the video i uploaded it and then i went and cleaned a little bit and um a friend's and one of my kids friends mom dropped by and we were talking to her and she says that it didn't even look like i was wearing foundation i'm like you need to get this it is the bomb Right now, if you go to Sephora, I believe that if you buy this, you get the three sample sizes of the uh, under eye cream, the uh, moisturizer, and um, the facial cleanser. So that's worth a try to get. Um, but yeah, and Sephora has a contest going on right now. So anyway, so there is what I have um, come to the conclusions. I forgot I didn't do my eyebrows, so let's do that quickly. So um, it's funny, though, because I was like, I'm not sure if I want another eye primer, but I'm really glad I got it. I'm the most disappointed in the eyeshadow palette, I have to admit. And this thing, I'm going to use it. There's no two ways about that because I do need an exfoliator, but not $18. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you sign up right now, you can still get to the August base box. Um, you can upgrade. I can't guarantee that you will get the premium, but next month's premium does look pretty good. So anyway, if you use my link below, you won't save any money, but I will get like 500 charms, which is like the equivalent to $5 and the charm room never updates. So it doesn't really do me a whole lot of good. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.